Well, good day. I'm back again. Bought a boat now, so I've got something to take a video of. So we're going up to the dam where there's barramundi, and hopefully we can catch something. I'm going up with my son, James. Say hello, James. Hello. <laughs> and this is the boat that I just bought. So we're going to go out in this, and hopefully we can we can catch a barramundi. So I'm still at home at the moment. I'm just going to head off. It's about an hour and 20 minutes drive, I think. So we're going to head on out there. So we're just coming into Jinjin now. Nice little regional town. Not many people. They got a, I don't think they've even got a Woolies yet. But this is the main road through to north. It cuts out Bundaberg. So when you're coming from down Childers, you turn off and uh, bypass Bundaberg. And it brings you through here and goes all, this is the main road, goes all the way to Cairns. Oh, a vacant block over there. A lot of campers, holidays now, so big bakehouse, it's a new one. And that's about it. The downtown part of Bundy. Got a river up here somewhere, you go across. And about another 20 odd minutes, I think it is, to the dam where we're going fishing. motor in. I think that's the one we stayed at one night three or four years ago. No vacancy. 160 a night. Roadhouse over there. And the truck stop. That's where all the truckies stop for a food. This river must be the. Can't remember. Should have a name on it somewhere. Ah, uh, no, it's not a river. Ah, uh, just a floodplain. Right, so we continue on to the dam. Be there very soon. We are at the dam. Uh, he was in the gas, but he was as good in bed, literally. There it is. And then we don't even there. And now, boat ramps down the bottom here. Oh, looks busy. No. I've got to go over the kiosk and get a pay to go fishing here, I guess. Yeah. yeah, so I'll have to go back to the kiosk and get the bloody, have to pay for it.
Right, right, so we're trawling. See if anything's around. Nothing much yet though. Heap of boats in this lake somewhere, but I don't know where they are. I can't see any. Is that the end of that rod shaking? Is it out far enough? It must be. Yours is going good, James. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to do. There's someone over there on the other side. They must be casting. Can try casting as well, see what happens. Oh, we still haven't caught anything. Trawling again now. Doesn't seem to be much good. Let it, let it ride out a bit further. Fair way out. Pull the thing over. Yeah, that's it. Let it go. That's it. Let it out fair way. Went out far enough before. That should do it. Put the thing over. Rod? Huh? Okay, that's what it's supposed to do. Look at all the snags over there, on that wood. Oh, straight ahead there's some too. Dead wood. Nothing happening? No. 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 I think everyone's going in. These are all boats that are going back again. Thirty metres of water underneath us, we should maybe it's too deep. We should they like the shallow water. trees everywhere look snags
a pretty good height. The boat ranges over here. Where we're heading for now, we're going to make it out the water and head home. With no fish, unfortunately. Maybe next time. There's a couple of things I want to have a look at this boat as well. So. We'll uh, get her out of the water. Here we go from there. It's a busy, look at all the cars parked up there. But I couldn't see many boats out on the water. There must be somewhere, it's a pretty big dam though. And, uh, this bloke in front of us, oh, there's a few. We might have to wait to get it out. Let's see, I'll have to get out and go and get the car. Right, oh, well, we got the boat out of the water. For no fish. There she is. And I was just talking to a few other people that just came in, and uh, one bloke said, Oh, we've tried really hard, got rid of all our burley and everything and nothing and another bloke all the same all, all the ones i asked a few there was a few here just before and they all said the same thing so for some reason just not a good day for it other days you can get them some days you can't there's a shot of the dam nice and calm out there now beautiful day no wind for a change and uh it's all this Oh, you record your catch. Well, I thought I'd love to be able to do that. Oh, look at the size of that one. See, that's that's what's out there. Look at them. Yay. I'd like to get one like that. That ain't happening. And the current recreation hazards on high. I don't know why. El blue green algae, I couldn't see any. But it's a pretty big dam. But uh, anyway, I'll sort of head home. Might stop in Gingin. Have a look there. There's the dam wall again, just there. So the dam's still got plenty of water on it, which is a good thing, because this is where we get our water from, where I live down at Moore Park, which is a fair way away. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, I don't know where that water was coming in. I just let out the bungs and there's nothing there, so I don't know. Not that there was much coming in, but there was a bit. All right, so we're going to head off. And uh, probably stop at Jinjin for a pie or something, maybe. Just a quick look around Jinjin. Nothing much here, but it's a nice little town. Get a lot of people, tourists, pulling in here on their way north or south. Visitor information here. Uh, they're not there. Oh, I thought it was there. It must be up further. It's up there. I'll drive up, pick you up after. I'll drive up there and pick you up. Kids looking for an ice cream. Oh, what do we got? Traveller's Rest Cafe over there. Visitors, volunteers needed. Jinjin and welcomes you. Traveller's Rest Cafe, home of Jinjin's award-winning pies. Well, there's a pie shop in Moore Park Beach, just one in the Queensland. the main street <laughs> yeah the Moore Park pie shop just won the Queensland awards for the best pies in Queensland so Vietnamese own it there's some nice looking roses in here yeah 
Very nice. I put my finger over the mic when the wind blows now. But I've got some, ordered some uh, muff things. I don't know if they're going to fit very well on this camera. But that's what they Hopefully it'll take that wind noise out. It's got two settings on it and I've tried them both and it still annoys me with the, uh, that wind background. There's a motel we stayed at about. I first came up here looking for a place to live in there. And that was about four or five years ago and that was 160 a night. Old dump like that. So motels aren't cheap anymore. Lily's Bistro and Takeaway. Yeah. Yeah. He's a pretty quiet little bird. But that's what you want. Or well, some people do. Unless you like city living, it's vastly different. All the trucks come hauling through here. the turn off just up there to Bundaberg and you go straight on on through to Childers and then on down to the Melbourne eventually head north this way and you go all the way to Cairns just follow, keep following that road looks like they've knocked down an old house on this corner block used to be something there before I don't know what it was but gone now Anyway, that's Jinjin. Oh well, we're back home again. And uh, seemed to go all right, I thought. For the first time I've used it, for three and a half grand, I mean, what, what, what do you expect? It uh, tows well, and it went well. There wasn't water coming out of here but I just put the hose on it and hooked it up and that's working all right now so that was the reason I came back in earlier and uh, yeah so we'll try it kids are on holiday now so I'll have to go down the river with the crab pots and uh, see if I can see if we can get some get some crabs dirt in the pool. Jeez. Now I've got to clean that. Alright, well uh, catch you on the next one then. See yous.